hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about how does your ex view you now okay so pile number one you're going to be the pink highlighter pile number two you're going to be the orange highlighter and pile number three you're going to be the yellow highlighter okay so again pile number one pink highlighter pile number two orange highlighter and pile number three yellow highlighter so pause this video a few months and meditate on the card or the highlighter color that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your bio hi one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number one you picked the pink highlighter and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay So, my pal number one, how does your ex view you now? How does your ex view you now, my pal number one? How do they view you now? What do we have for you here? What do we have? We have Saturn, structure. I'm getting like the view as very being very disciplined. I feel like maybe when you were with your ex, you had a really hard time getting things in order or having things work out for you. Um, maybe you were like the relationship consisted of you taking care of that person's needs and you had to put your own in the back burner. But ever since you guys broke up and you you're free now from this person, like things have been progressing in the right way for you. I'm getting like a lot of like structure in your life so you have a more stable income um i feel like you may have had a promotion recently or ever since you left your ex you had a promotion things have started to progress for you in your life okay and this is how your ex view you now yes we have the eight of cups emotionally withdrawn like your ex knows that there is no going back like there is no second chances with you it's officially over yeah, you're no longer invested in this connection with the six of pentacles you're you're done like they know that it's completely over and there's no need to try to come back or work things out with you you're no longer interested with the eight of cups and the six of pentacles okay yeah you are in your power with the emperor this is how your ex view you now and they know that you are in your divine right divine light with the emperor and that not now you're able to establish yourself in your career in your life there's a lot of like discipline now more discipline in your life i feel like you got a brand new body so like you worked out you look good you may have lost weight or gained weight depending on where you stand so i'm getting like you transformed yourself completely ever since you left your ex and they are in awe and i feel like um your ex is starting to realize that they were the issue they were the reason why things were not progressing in your life they definitely view you now as a go-getter with the three of wands the person that you always were but you didn't have the chance to be that person when you were with your ex because they were they were taking up all your time and i feel like your ex was very selfish it was so self-centered it was all about him or her and not about you it was not an equal give and take type of relationship this is why we have the six of pentacles in reverse i feel like now you're pouring more into yourself like they're viewing you a little bit selfish with the six of pentacles because you're no longer invested in them 
we have the eight of pentacles they definitely view you as somebody who's a very skilled very talented have amazing work ethics i'm getting like your ex is surprised of how much you've accomplished ever since you guys broke up i feel like your ex is still at the same position doing the same thing with the same people okay no change how does your ex view you now my pal wow nine of cups guys desired wish fulfillment i feel like your ex regret letting you go i'm also getting an energy that your ex regrets hurting you regrets mistreating you for not seeing your worth for not seeing your power for not seeing you for who you always were okay this ex i'm getting like um they downplayed you or made you feel small talked down on you compared you to other people I feel like this ex may have compared you with one of their exes or their friend's girlfriend or boyfriend and acted like, oh, you're not like so-and-so's girlfriend or you're not like so-and-so's boyfriend. So it, they did a lot of like emotional damage to you, okay? So how does your ex view you now? How does your ex... Wow, we have the Ace of Wands. Now they're so attracted to you because I really feel like with the Ace of Wands, you glowed up like you worked out you took care of your body your hair is longer your skin is glowing that mm, is fatter <laughs> this is what i'm getting here okay like i'm really getting like you keep you did a complete 180 and it was like this x is um like um taking away baffled by the change we have the ace of cups like you're now that your self-esteem has gone up, because I feel like your ex really tried to bring you down. I'm getting like an energy, somebody trying to humble you, okay? This is the energy I'm getting from this ex, trying to humble you, make you feel small. We have the Sun card, very successful. This is how they view you now. Powerful, positive, optimistic, like renewed energy with the Sun card, Leo. With the um, Ace of Cups, definitely they view you as um, having a lot of self-esteem. Your self-esteem has been renewed. You feel much better about yourself. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, they definitely view you as being disinterested and they view this connection as a missed opportunity. Them letting you go was like the biggest mistake that they feel they've made in their life and they definitely view you as being indifferent towards them with the two swords like you're no longer interested because we do have the eight of cups here so you're emotionally withdrawn and that's kind of like hurting their ego that's bruising their he ego the fact that you're no longer invested that you're bored that you're you don't even look at this person anymore with the two of swords okay how does your ex view you now what do we have here wow we have the knight of swords in reverse Knight of Swords in reverse could be like an impulsive energy, a reckless energy. Um, it could also be destructive, but I'm not getting that vibe. It's like I'm getting like more a vibe that they feel like you moved on very quickly. Like not moved on to someone else, but got over them very quickly. And that's kind of hurting them, like how you just got back on your feet and you start doing your, your own thing. I feel like because your ex is still doing the same thing that they were doing before, like when you guys were together, there's no growth in their life. And they feel some type of way. We have five of wands. Ooh, they definitely view you as competition now. They like, I'm getting like, your ex is out there trying to find somebody better than you but like still comparing them to you so it's like they want somebody like you but better like an upgrade but it's like everybody that they meet is like a downgrade because they don't have all the qualities everything that you got going on in your life they don't have that okay they can't find that yeah we have the eight of cups yo your ex is sad with the eight of cups like they are they definitely feel like you are withdrawn from them wow i'm getting like your ex is having a lot of anxiety with a nine of swords as well i feel like he, they also reminisce about how they made you feel in the past and it's hurting them they're having like some sort of an epiphany yeah you see you've healed they view you as a star beautiful creative unique now that you're gone now that you're out of their lives 
I feel like your ex, what I'm getting is that they're realizing how much of a star you were and how you shine so bright and how unique you were because I'm getting like, they, like I said, they're trying to replace you with other people and they can't. They're having a hard time. Wow. We have the strength card, Leo and Aquarius energy. Okay. So you may have Leo and Aquarius in your chart, but with the strength card, they're realizing how powerful you are, how strong you are, how dedicated you are to yourself, to your growth, how much um, integrity you have, because I feel like some of you ex may have cheated on you. Okay. Or betrayed you. And you stayed the same person. You never betrayed them. Even after the relationship was over, you never bashed them. You never talked ish about them. And I feel like they may have talked ish about you. Okay, so they know that your character holds weight. This is how they view you. You never talk bad about them, okay? You just moved on with your life. How does your ex view you? We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, they're realizing how much of a great team player you were. You always had their backs. You're always there for them. You're a very supportive, supportive lover. Yeah, wow. We have the Eight of Wands and it's in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse is no action, no movement forward. Um, nothing is moving. So they view this connection in you as like, um, it's like a done deal. Like it's over. They know it's over. There's no turning back and they feel some type of way. How does your ex view you now? How does your ex view you now? Yeah, emotionally unavailable with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is how they view you now. Emotionally unavailable. Emotionally withdrawn, disinterested, because we do have the Eight of Cups, we do have the Two of Swords, we do have the Four of Cups, like just emotionally withdrawn. You're done, like you're definitely done. And they're like grasping this concept now that you are actually done with them. And it's hitting them like a ton of a ton of bricks. Like your ex is definitely spying on you with the page of swords. Some of you, it's an ex of four years ago. Yeah, you see the two cups, they wanna come back. They wanna reconcile with you with the two cups. They're thinking, they're planning. Some of you could get a call from your ex, especially during Mercury retrograde okay you're gonna get a call from an ex okay some of you is like a four years ago three years ago that is still thinking about you that is still stuck on you this ex is like not over you they're having a hard time like moving on they've dated other people after you after you guys broke up however they are not able to get the same energy the same feeling that they got from you okay how does your ex view you now? My pal number one, what do we have here? We have the Knight of Wands, ooh. Your ex definitely view you as that it girl, that it guy, you're getting a lot of attention, okay? So I'm getting like maybe because they're watching you online, they're seeing all the people commenting on your profile. I feel like now you're in a space where you're able to travel, you're able to do you with ease. It's like a lot of things are working out for you completely. You're in your power. Some of you are influencers, so that X is like stalking your social media accounts, okay? Instagram, YouTube, whatever you have, that X is still watching you, okay? And like everybody else that comes after you can't compare to you, don't measure up to you. And this is the reason why they're still stuck on you. I'm telling you, they feel like it's a missed opportunity. We have the Nine of Cups. They view as wish fulfillment. Like I'm getting that vibe that they didn't know what they had until you were gone. And now that you're gone, it's like they're realizing that. You see, they don't want me to talk. I can't even breathe out. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, like, wow, they really they want me to say that. <laughs> yeah, you have that ex that I feel like they can't breathe. <laughs> oh, my God, guys, this person is, like, tripping. It's like, I'm, you know what I'm, what I'm getting? is like somebody's having, like, every time you post, like, if you're, you're on vacation and you're in a bikini or you have your six-pack out and you're looking fly, yo, your ex is tripping. Nah, this is what I'm getting here, okay? <laughs> like, this is why they don't want me to breathe. <laughs> They're mad. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Thank you, Transform. They don't recognize you anymore. Like, you're not that person that you used to be when you were with them. 
I'm really getting like your ex was trying to target your self esteem, trying to bring you down so that way they could like feel comfortable with you so that way you don't leave, okay? Because I feel like when you were together there was still some sort of competition like that ex always wanted to like maybe get an attention when you guys go out or have all eyes on them or you know they wanted to feel like they were superior to you because they felt some type of way like i feel like you used to get more looks or more attention and it was like always a competition like you know they were never a team player while you were while you were building the house they were tearing the down the house down okay like like instead of building the foundation of this connection they were always poking holes this is the energy that i'm getting here now that you're emotionally unavailable with the queen of cups because she's out here twice and she's twice in reverse so that means emotionally unavailable emotionally unconnected you see now we have the king of cups but he's upright whether it's a woman or a man your ex is all in their feelings with the king of cups because you transform with the death card you're no longer the same person so how does your yeah we have the knight of pentacles it definitely view as somebody who is um there is longevity with you you're reliable you're trustworthy you're honorable with the knight of pentacles you're dedicated you're somebody who's really good you're financially stable as well so you're really good with money financially savvy and this is how they view you now i feel like your ex could have been irresponsible with money maybe they like to gamble like if you live together you always had to pay the bills or you had to pay more because this person was so irresponsible you see ace of pentacles i'm telling you this is how they view you as the ace of pentacles a amazing offer something to hold on to to cherish and now that they lost you they feel some type of way they're in that's why i couldn't breathe guys i'm telling you i couldn't breathe oh my god this person is tripping okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the orange highlighter and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spell or previous readings, okay? So, my pal number two, how does your ex view you now? How does your ex view you now, my pal number two? How do they view you now? Pal number two, we have Aries, act. This is giving me emperor energy. Mm, they view you like a boss. Okay, you're stepping into your power. So how does your ex view you now, my pal number two? They're intimidated by you. They always were. Wow, we have the king of cups. Okay, that's way too many cards. Ooh, no, spirit is telling me to take them. Okay, we have the king of cups. We have the three of pentacles. We have the Fool, and then we have Five of Swords. Ooh, some of you may have cussed out this ex because they don't understand no means no, that you're no longer interested. Wow, you're the one that got away. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Um, your ex feels like you were cheating with the Three of Pentacles. You had someone else. Um, you're emotionally distanced from them. This is how they view you Like you're more in tune. You're more stable. I feel like with the five of swords you guys used to argue a lot There was all, a lot of like uh, verbal uh, battles argument back and forth um, A lot of toxicity like drama. I'm getting a uh, harsh words being said with the five of swords I feel like this ex was extremely petty. They like to hit below the belt 
this is the energy like a tyrant like somebody who likes to have the last word that's the energy i'm getting from this ex they view you as being like transformed like moving on seeing yeah guys i can't make it up eight of cups yeah they see you as moving on we have the king of wands like um taking your power back i'm really heavy on the taking your power back um i feel like this person was uh, controlling they like to control the finances i feel like this person did not want you to work or if you worked like this person would um either like if you are a woman watching this ex did not like you working or had an issue with you having your own money because they wanted to be able to control you financially, okay? And I feel like that's the only way they felt that they had some sort of power over you or control in the connection is by withholding the finances or stopping you from working. This is the energy that I'm getting from this ex. I'm also getting the vibe that if you are a man watching here with the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, I'm getting the energy of an ex that was always um, interested in your money. They always wanted to fight, um, argue about money. Like they always wanted to spend your money, whether it's a woman or a man. Okay, I'm getting like this ex was always like interested in your money like there was something about your finances if you are men watching that this person was after or like they would drain you of your finances it's like they always had some sort of emergency financial emergency they always like i feel like they were like a leech they were depending on you and i feel like that's another reason why you guys broke up and the reason why you guys were always into some sort of argument like they like some of you they may have stolen money from you as well but they're seeing you taking your power back. This is how they view you now. You're emotionally withdrawn. Maybe they try to call you. Yeah, you see the two cups, but it's in reverse. I'm getting like this ex definitely saw you as somebody who brought a lot to the table, but because they were dishonest, because they had, they played a lot of mind games, they were manipulative. Um, this connection was one-sided with the two cups now that you took your energy back you took your power back and you're no longer Entertaining this person anymore and you broke it off They are in their feelings about that with the two cups because they're realizing that their Manipulation and their mind games is no longer working on you because I feel like this person played a lot of mind games Yeah, ten of swords like you left them in the cold They they definitely view you as being harsh with the ten of swords like you just cut them off you hear that song now you're just somebody that i used to know somebody this is what i'm getting here with the ten of swords like this is how they view you like somebody that they used to know they don't recognize you anymore because it's like i feel like you had enough yeah we have temperance card like now you're no longer interested like with the temperance you're more even tempered because i feel like this person used to always make you trigger you or do things to entice you or to uh provoke you i'm getting like a provoking energy somebody who likes to antagonize you or oh like just so annoying type of energy this is what i'm getting here from this ex and now they view you as being more even tempered with the temperance card because they're no longer around they just bring like this tyrant energy wherever they go they just irritate people not just you but i feel like because you guys were in a connection they knew exactly which button to press to irritate you and i feel like this person they would get a rise out of seeing you react and that was like fueling them okay yeah we have the four of cups they know that it's a missed opportunity with the four cups like they know you're no longer interested in what they have to say what they have like what they want yeah you're emotionally withdrawn we have the lovers here but in this deck the lover the the man the masculine here is moving away running away doesn't want to be committed and i'm getting like this is the energy and this is how you feel about this ex it's not like you don't want commitment you don't want relationship you just don't want relationship with them that's the energy that i'm getting here and they know that now it's like obvious to them that you're no longer interested yeah, I'm really getting that vibe. So how does your ex view you now? Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles, extremely dedicated to your craft, dedicated to yourself, dedicated to your growth. This is how they view you now. Like you're no longer um, investing any of your energy into them. You're not pouring into them anymore. How does your ex view you now? 
how does your ex view you now yeah ten of pentacles abundant i feel like your money has started to grow more you were blessed ten times fold because of like how this person treated you in their connection how they wanted to stop you stop your flow and i did say emperor energy and look now the emperor is here this is how your ex view you as the emperor as a boss you know justice Mm, your ex view you as their karma they know whatever they're going through right now they know it's because of how they treated you whatever like hardship they're experiencing if they're, they're not getting any money or they're having a hard time finding a job or keeping a job or financially they're not doing well they know it's because of how they treated you when you guys were in a connection whether it was withholding money from you or like trying to stop you from working or taking your money or controlling you with money they know it's because of that or if it's like because they used to spend money spend your money or take from me from you or i'm like take from me <laughs> take from you take from um like uh like from your finances i feel like this person may have stolen money like i said earlier maybe they went into they knew your bank account like your pin number or something like that and they took your money how does your ex view you now wow we have the three swords Ooh, your ex is like heartbroken reject they feel rejected we have the seven of pentacles you were extremely patient with this person but now you are investing back into yourself this is how they view you now like you were always like responsible you were always that person that they could count on depend on but they they played you or they misused you or like abused you in this connection we have the hermit you ghosted this person some of you went cold turkey because we have the ten of swords so you definitely went cold turkey on this ex and you cut them off you yo we have the page of cups yo your ex feels like you owe them an apology wow this ex is entitled they feel entitled to your like your love you see we have the two cups they view you as the ideal lover because i'm getting like whoever they try to replace you with did not tolerate their bs they cut them off like with swiftness <laughs> we have the four of cups again yeah they feel like it's a missed opportunity oh my god poor baby that's what you get <laughs> like you're not gonna treat people like that and you expect them to stay like i'm sorry but i cannot have sympathy with people for people like that like i'm really gonna like they mistreated you especially with the five of swords being here like i said they would hit you below the belt they would say things they would do things and then they expect you to be happy and it's like no that's not how it works like i have feelings too the page of comes this person now thinks like you owe them an apology i'm getting an energy of somebody saying that oh it's because of you that my life is like that because i'm telling you they know that they're experiencing karma because of how they treated you if you don't know it your ex is going through karma with the justice here and this is how they view you they view you as their karma like they know that if they would have treated you better they even if you guys would have broken up but if they would have treated you better they know that life would have been different for them you could have like still be friends or you know like still be nice or cordial with them but now it's like there's no communication ten of swords like an abrupt ending eight of cups emotionally withdrawn like you're not even interested you moved on you got better there's three of swords rejection heartbreak like this person knows that it's like it's their fault yeah they view you as the empress beautiful inside and out with the empress you leveled up this is how they view you now okay wow guys we have the star okay yeah you put this to rest four of cut four of swords sorry and then the star you've healed they know that it's over you've healed you're emotionally withdrawn from this connection and you've healed you're much better now this is how they view you but they want to heal this connection with you with the star they want to heal it wow six of wands they definitely view you as being victorious successful like i said ever since you left this person your finances have been skyrocketed off the roof like now we have the knight of pentacles this is how this person views you as like loyal yeah i feel like they're crying over you i'm getting like an energy of somebody crying because you're always loyal to them ace of pentacles like always loyal always dedicated to them even though you guys would argue you always try and like i feel like whenever you guys would argue even though you're not the one who started the argument and you're not the one who um 
initiated the the situation or the starter or provoked anyone you still was the first one to apologize to let your pride down and apologize or you know your ego you let it go at the door so that way you could keep this connection or try to make it work you always went out of your way to make sure this person was good and they treated you like dirt i'm really getting like somebody who was always disrespectful with the five of swords like very disrespectful energy like they had no regards for your feelings no regards for anything as long as they got what they wanted they didn't care how they made you feel like this is what like this person would like stomp on your feelings like they did not care this is the energy i'm getting here this is why i don't feel bad for them for going through what they're going through like it's not you're not a child you're not a kid you know what you're doing whenever you're treating people like crap you know what you're doing so there's no excuse like you're an adult so how does your ex view you now how does your ex view you now yeah queen of pentacles you are abundant okay established doing well financially six of wands you're, wow guys i can't make it up king of pentacles whether you are a woman or a man here we have a lot of pentacles here and we have like the empress the emperor the star you're in your power and this ex is livid oh my god ace of pentacles again guys like I, this is the second time i cut the deck open and ace of pentacles is there they know that you were a great catch and now they regret letting you go like i said earlier you're the one that got away and it's a good thing you got away because this person's toxic they're very selfish self-centered energy okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the yellow highlighter and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three. How does your ex view you now? How does your ex view you now? How does your ex view you now, my pal number three? We have debilitated, discomfort. Ooh, I feel like you guys did not leave on a good note. Debilitated, out of balance. This ex could be out of balance. I feel like at one point in time, you were out of balance when you were with this person. There's like a lot of turmoil here. How does the ex view you now? Yeah, they definitely view you as being resilient with the nine of wands. You're a wounded warrior, but you're like very strong, powerful. We have the eight of pentacles. I feel like you had to rebuild yourself, rebuild your life from scratch. Yeah, I feel like debilitated is not you. It's more the ex. They're... Maybe this person dragged you down. Yeah, we have the hierophant. They definitely view you as being traditional as being um respectable i'm getting that energy you're definitely wish fulfillment with a nine of cups yeah like this ex i'm getting like maybe you wanted to get married you thought that you guys would be married but this ex was not serious when they were in the connection they had you waited waited they had you waiting okay this is what i'm getting here some of you may have been with this person for like five years six years some of you even nine years 
and there was no commitment there was no engagement there was no moving forward it's like you guys were at the same place that you were when you initially started dating like this person like i really feel like they were a waste of time they were wasting your tr your time they were dragging their feet and they were stringing you along and they view you as being renewed because you actually worked on yourself maybe this person put you in debt had you sign up for like um took some loan under your name i feel like for some of you okay how does your ex view you now yeah um with the two swords uh, disinterested okay i'm getting also unbothered you're unbothered by them i feel like this ex may have gotten married out of spite like they went with someone else and they married them after like leaving you but they did it very quickly so just to spite you and now they regret it because whoever they chose over you they're experiencing some sort of karma <laughs> oh my god oh my god like how are you so silly man my god i'm telling you yeah they want to come back two cups they definitely view you as the love of their lives this is what i'm getting here with the two cups like I'm really getting like somebody who got married or somebody who got into another relationship quickly. Like, you know, maybe you guys broke up. Like, I'm just giving an example. Like, last month and this person's already with someone else. Seeing, like, you know, posting pictures and all that. Just to spite you, just to get a reaction out of you, okay? Yeah, we have the Five of Swords. There's a lot of conflicts. Spil similar to pile number two. There could be a message for you in pile number two as well. But we did have the Five of Swords in pile number two. Yeah, this ex was maybe verbally abusive, but you're definitely holding your ground. This is how they view you now. Like you're picking your battles wisely because I feel like this person wants to get a rise out of you, a reaction out of you by being with someone else, by like moving on to someone else. And I feel like whoever they moved on to um, probably cheated on them already or is making a fool out of them. So they feel some type of way about that. They definitely view you as being traditional wow they're having a tower moment they didn't know how strong you were because this person thought you were gonna come back crying crawling back to them begging them for forgiveness you see page of cups guys i cannot make it up they they thought that you were gonna come back and beg them for forgiveness but they're having a tower moment like you're standing in your power with the magician they didn't know how skilled you were how powerful you were how intellectual you were like this person never really took the time to get to know you even though you guys were dating for a long time you, you, like it felt like you were sleeping with a stranger like it felt like you were with a stranger because you didn't really know this person they never allowed you into their hearts and they never took the time to get to know you either so like if you ask this person what is pal number three's uh, favorite color they can't even tell you and they've been with you for what nine years ten years some of you five years and you still don't know your person's favorite color like these are like you know questions that not even questions that you should like answers you should know you're supposed to know these things because if you live with somebody or if you're with someone you would notice these things about them like you know what the straw color that they usually pick when they get a drink or something like that if there's like color straw or like what color do you always notice them like being drawn to that's how you know which color is their favorite color like if you pay attention to them you would know but this person never took the time to get to know you and now that you're gone they're like watching you from afar and they're now they're having to see you in introspection and now they're seeing like wow pile number three was actually very great why didn't i take the time to get to know them and because this person's childish because i feel like this day there's a lot of emotional immaturity from this person instead of like you know humbling themselves and then like you know trying to make this work or apologize or coming back this person wants to spite you this is the energy i'm getting here we have the ace of pentacles they definitely view you as a great catch you brought a lot to the table a lot of abundance a lot of stability Okay, they definitely view you as a great catch. And I feel like all three piles, your exes view you as a great, uh, wow, I can't speak. A great catch, but because you guys are no longer in contact with each other, they have no access to you, they feel some type of way. We have the star here. They definitely view you as being unique, authentic, original, just different from what they're used to. How does your ex view you now? Yeah, great team player. Okay, we have the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So they definitely view you as a team player, okay? 
very established your reputation precedes you like you are really who you say you are you're not pretending okay we have the two of pentacles yeah like a great catch i'm really getting like you know you had a lot you have a lot going on for yourself how does your ex view you now my pal number three wow we have the three of cups they they want to reconcile with you and guys page of pentacles again they want to reconcile with you they definitely view you as being amicable you're very friendly like you were cooperative because the three of pentacles could also represent cooperation like because you know if you're a team player you have to cooperate with others so i'm getting like you were extremely cooperative with this person you try to be understanding even of their flaws even of the like you know their like their negative traits you try to be understanding with of this person but they never was on never were understanding of you this person was always like finding fault always had something negative to say because the five of swords could represent conflict okay and i feel like this person never saw you for who you truly were how does your ex view you now yeah king of pentacles reliable trustworthy dependable this is how they view you now but it's too late it's a little too late now to come back and be like oh i'm sorry like especially if you're gonna do things out of spite try to date someone else to make uh, your ex jealous very quickly like very childish energy that's high school um we have eight of cups yeah you're emotionally withdrawn that's how they view you now like they feel like they don't have a chance with you anymore we have the six of wands yeah definitely victorious I'm also getting like this ex never took the time to get to know your passions, your um, like what you, what sparks your like you know your soul like that sets your soul on fire. They never took the time to get to know you. There's a lot of discomfort from their end. Yeah, we have the chariot. They definitely view you as being dedicated, strong will, loyal. Yeah, we have the sun. You could be a Leo um cancer cuss don't have to be but i'm getting like very loyal we have aquarius as well as uh taurus but in scorpio like a very loyal energy and now we have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck you're living a life of luxury you are abundant this is how they view you now and it's like wow i don't have access to pound number three anymore look how good they look who look how well they're doing look how abundant they are like why couldn't i had that with them and it's like because you never took the time to get to know pal number three that's why you're too busy in your own world or disinterested how does your ex view you now you're definitely that it girl or that it guy i'm telling you they're crying over you with the ace of pentacles too bad so sad wow the sun again they definitely view you as optimistic okay powerful flamboyant energetic like i feel like you may have not had that energy when you were with them because they were so draining we had the chariot again guys chariot um sun sun chariot again okay so that uh, cancer and leo energy is here heavy so you may be a cusper don't have to be but with that energy this is powerful energy we have driven energy this is how they view you now very disciplined structured but also disinterested with the two of swords indifferent towards them they feel like i feel like i'm also getting they may have tried to call you multiple times where so it always goes to voicemail because you block them and they feel some type of way about that yeah i'm really gonna like somebody who feels some type of way about you blocking them or not wanting to be with them or being around them we have the ace of wands they definitely view you as being very attractive very uh passionate they've never noticed how passionate you were when you guys were together because they were like i feel like this person was kind of disinterested in this connection and there could have been a lot of discomfort because it's like there was like conflicted like a power uh dynamic a power struggle with this person this is what i'm getting here 
they always wanted to be in control um they never wanted to work things out with you it was always like my way or the highway type of energy or it's like oh what you want to do is boring or it's not satisfying or i'd rather do this i would like always complaining okay this is what i'm getting here and nagging energy whether it's a woman or a man like they always had something to say like something negative to say about either the way that you look um how you dress um how you do your hair your style the way that you speak you know everything even from down to the things that you eat your diet it's like there was always something wrong and that's kind of draining man like who wants to be around people like that how does your ex view you now how does your ex view you now guys i cannot make it up six of wands again victorious they're in disbelief that you're so successful now that you're doing so well like you are some of you could be in the spotlight now we have the empress at the bottom of the deck they definitely view as the empress whether you are a woman or a man you are beautiful you're doing amazing for yourself you're creative this is how they view you now you have glowed up there's a glow up here and this person is not part of it and this is what irks them the fact that they're not part of your growth they're not part of your future because they see that the future is bright for you and for them it's still the same gloomy boring okay disinterested the same way that they felt like i feel like this person they may have given up on their dreams and because they saw the fire in you the drive in you the passion in you because we have we have the sun and we have the chariot so that's driven energy but it's also focused energy determined and energy and they saw that in you and because they didn't have that in themselves or they lost it they wanted to burn that fire in you and they couldn't and this is why there's a lot of discomfort as well it's like that five of swords energy is somebody trying to bring you down tear you down so that way they could feel good because it's like okay well if you don't accomplish your dreams then at least i don't have to worry about that i don't have to feel no type of way because we're at the same level this is the energy that i'm getting here but because now you're in the empress energy where you're leveling up they're they're uncomfortable okay like it was like you were basically sleeping with the enemy this is what i'm getting here for you pile number three okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye